Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you what I added to my prepper pantry from my Thrive Life order. All right, everybody, welcome back. So I wanted to show you what came in from Thrive. You know, every month I have an order that comes in and uh, I'm trying out something new in here. So we're actually going to be taste testing it. I'm going to make a little and try it out on camera so we can see if I like it or not and see if you think it looks good. Of course, you can't taste it. But uh, I just wanted to show you some of the stuff I've picked up from Thrive this month. Tomorrow I'm going to be, do a, going to be doing a store-bought um, type similar video where I went to the store and I bought some things that I'm putting in my pantry. For me, really, it's at this point, because I have so much, it's rotation. I go through, I look and see what's about to expire, what's about to get old, and I rotate it out. And when I say expire, I don't mean the best buy dates. I mean stuff that I've had for, you know, maybe eight or nine years. Time to get rid of it, bring in new stuff. So I do it a little bit at a time. Anyway, same goes for Thrive. Um, really, I'm beginning to stock up on Thrive. I've been doing Thrive for about a year and a half, two years now. Yeah, about two years. I think I started in 17. So this is kind of what I go through and what I want to add and what I want to try. So I don't add a ton of stuff until I've tasted it. Now, I know Thrive Life beef is good. As a matter of fact, I have an order of beef slices here. Um, I know the uh, hamburger is amazing. I've got more of these put away. They're, it's really good. And it's good. It's kind of a good, you know, you can toss it in with some noodles and some sauce, and you got yourself a meat sauce. Um, I love these Alfredos, these fettuccine Alfredos. There is no chicken in these. These are just the fettuccine Alfredos. But they're enough for, you know, two to three people. Um, you can cook this up, put it together, and uh, throw some food in it, and you're good to go. Throw some meat in it. Um, I got the chicken, chicken slices. These are surprisingly good. You know, when I looked at them, they looked like little pieces of styrofoam, <laughs> dehydrated. And I'm like, I don't know. Then I hydrated them, and we made tacos out of them. Oh, man, they're so good. I don't know how they do it, because most of the time, the freeze-dried food I've had in the past is kind of, eh, you still know it's freeze-dried. This tastes like I chopped up the chicken myself, tossed it in a pan with some taco sauce, and it was good to go. Anyway, moving on, pulled pork. I got this before. I like it. It's actually very, very good, very tasty. This is the new product. This is the shredded beef. And because it looks a little different than the beef slices, I figured, you know what, this, we're going to try this out. We're going to open it up and uh, heat up some water and uh, hydrate it, test it out, see if we like it. And I'll let you see what it looks like. And lastly, of course, good old scrambled egg mix. Now, you may ask why I don't buy the bigger cans. Well, at this point, this is more economical for me, and it allows me to stock a more diverse pantry. Um, if I buy a large can of this, and I find out I don't like it, I'm kind of stuck. And now I'm kind of stuck in buying the smaller cans because they all fit together nicely. I do have a lot of the bigger number 10 cans, but that was bought a couple of years before I did Thrive. So um, I don't really have a ton of room, <clears throat> excuse me, room left over in there. And uh, this works perfectly for my, my budget and my storage. If you're on the, you know, if you're part of this and you want to spend just a certain amount of money every month, um, you can do that really easily. Now, you're going to compare that to other freeze-dried foods, and there really, really isn't any comparison. These things are just chicken and water. I mean, you know, that is it. There's not a bunch of junk in them. There's not a bunch of funky stuff in them. I'm going to try and find the ingredients on here because I always can't find it. There we go. Chicken, white meat, salt. Hope you can read that. I have the camera on autofocus for that kind of thing. Um, but, you know, to me, I just like it. I've tried other freeze-dried stuff. Now, I know I sell it, and that sounds like, you know, I'm being a shill for it. I really like the stuff. I like the taste of it compared to other freeze-dried stuff. And this allows me to stock more economically. It allows me to have more diversity, you know. If I want maybe two of these and four of these, I can do that instead of one big 10 can of that and a big 10 can of this, and I find it I don't like it, and I'm stuck with it. So, we're going to heat up some water. We're going to try out the shredded beef. <laughs> Ingredients, beef, salt. <laughs> Let me see what the, uh, look, I'm going to read this to you real quick. One half cup of hot water, one cup of beef, let sit for five minutes or simply toss into any creation, and off you go. So, fairly simple prep too. So let me get this set up, let me get this stuff out of the way, and uh, let me get some hot water on, and we will try it out. All right, so I got my water going here, my half cup. I have it low because I want to talk during this, and I want to show you this and measure it out, so I don't want to rush it because <laughs> it's not much water to heat up. Let's open up these cans, or this can. Do it the wrong way. There we go. All right. Give you a look at the freeze-dried product itself. Okay. Shake it up a little bit. There you go. And I'm gonna put a cup in here carefully. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some uh, rice that I have. I don't know if you guys remember that jasmine Thai rice. And I'm going to actually make lunch out of this so I don't just waste a whole cup of it. Actually, that's a lot of, a lot of food. <laughs> but maybe I'll make a, a, lunch and a, a lunch and a dinner snack. <laughs> that's a lot of food. Um, you may not realize it, but when you put um, that much in here and it's small like that, that expands and gets a lot bigger. So I'm going to use a little hot sauce. I'm going to use a little, uh, a little bit of salt, pepper, and uh, heat this up. And uh, show you. First, we're going to just hydrate it. And we're going to try it plain, and then I'm make something out of it. So let me get this water boiling. I'll dump it in here. We'll wait our five minutes. I'll bring you back. Okay, it's, it's fully hydrated. We're going to try it out. Give you a look at it. Yeah, that's good. No. There's no seasoning to it. It's just plain beef. But I gotta say, let me finish chewing. That tastes like some of the most tender roast beef or like a, a brisket type of meat that you've ever had. That is really, really good. And amazing when you think it goes from looking like nothing to that. So what I'm gonna do is put together this with a little bit of rice. I'm gonna use a little bit of beer can chicken sauce. Not sauce, seasoning. This stuff works good on beef, chicken, pork, anything. Um, it's really just a mixture of a bunch of stuff that's really good. You know, a little bit of garlic. And a little tiny bit of hot sauce. And I happen to have a little hot sauce Tabasco thing left over. Won't be using it all up, but a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little water to this, because I am going to be heating it back up again. Just a bit. I don't want to dry it out. And we'll fire that back up. There we go. Keep it on a low heat. Then when I'm all done, I'm going to toss this basmati rice in there. We tried the, uh, what is it, lime and garlic, other stuff. This is the basmati. I want to try it out and see if it's any good. Um, that's for when I make my little homemade MREs. Okay. I just throw a little bit of this stuff down because it's going to burn if it hits the pan, so I don't want it to burn. And a little bit of garlic. Okay, maybe a whole lot of garlic. <laughs> Let's stir it up. See how we're doing. Really, I'm just heating it up. It already is pretty, pretty warm from being hydrated, but uh, I want to just heat it up a bit. Not seeing any part that didn't hydrate either. It's not like there's any hard you know, pieces in there that are still hard from not hydrating. Now, let's open this little guy up. I don't have a knife with me out here. I do, but it's on the wall there. Okay, so we're just going to toss a little bit. Or are we? A little bit of hot sauce in there. There we go. There it is. Okay. Got a little tiny bit in there. Oh, that smells good. <laughs> that smells good. So you can see, I mean, you know, you can get as fancy as you want with this, or you can do it like camp cooking, like I'm doing here. You don't have to get really fancy. You can do this so simple and just toss in your rice and do it like a camp meal, you know, during some kind of emergency or disaster or whatever. Or you can get really fancy and turn this into some kind of uh, full size, you know, knockdown, blowout, gourmet meal. Or you can just do it like I'm doing here. Of course, it's already a meal. <laughs> Try to heat up the rice a little bit. So. That is definitely enough to uh, feed a couple people. That, I, like I said about the, um, the beef, when you hydrate that, that was a whole lot. Let's take a taste of it. Mmm. Yeah. Rice is awesome, by the way. We'll be using those in future uh, homemade MRE videos. This stuff is just so flat, simple, and easy to use. So anyway, that is my little quick meal I made to test this out. It's really, really good. Um, so I, I will be getting more of the shredded beef, definitely. Really like it. It says cooked and seasoned. I really didn't taste any seasoning on it. It just tastes like plain beef. And uh, given the ingredients, which are beef and salt, you really can't, uh, can't go wrong. If you, if you don't want a bunch of uh, preservatives in your food, this is definitely the way to go. They're good for 25 years, all this stuff. Um, the bags have about a one-year shelf life, they say. I, I assume that's probably for being a bag. 
and not the can itself. It was in a can, probably be good for 25 years. Um, they probably are more worried about this breaking down. I have eaten one that it says good till good 2022. Best Buy 7 2022. I'd probably give that till 2024 without even thinking about it. But the cans are good for 25 years. You've got a ton of stuff to choose from. And um, like I said, you can get really fancy. I could have made something really big and, you know, hearty. And, or you can make camp meals like this. Doesn't matter. You can take this stuff camping with you. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out our link down below for our Thrive Life. If you want to buy stuff, there's nothing to sign up for. You can sign up and become a, uh, you know, a distributor for them. And you can do that and you'll save some money. But you don't have to. And that's why I like Thrive. If you want to go and just test out their food, you can do that. Go in there, test it out, see if you like it. And don't forget to check out our Amazon store down below. I like to put everything I review in there. So if you don't see anything in the store you like, just click the link, shop as you normally would. It really helps out the channel. And don't forget to check out our Olight um, link down below too as well. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.